Hey, what's going on? Uh, let's take a look at some Mark's six inch figures and we're going to do some comparisons between figures that we know we were produced, or at least one that we know was produced in the United States, two that we know were produced in Hong Kong and hand painted at the Mark's Hong Kong factory there, and then one figure here we don't know for sure uh, where he's from or how old he is at this point. And we'll start with that figure. So in 1958, Marx came out with a set of, I think it was six, might be five, you know me. Not heavy on the research, heavy on the enthusiasm. Uh, so this is one of the molds from those original five or six figures of U.S. Marines that came out in 1958. Now, these, these figures were copied and uh, made in Mexico, and, and then also in the 90s, I believe, that they were copied. Now, I don't know for sure what the origin of this figure is. To me, I kind of feel like this is one of those ones from the 70s in Mexico, but I don't know for sure. If you happen to be a you know aficionado of this stuff and you know for sure, you can drop that in the comments. But so what we do know is that this is an original mold from those 1958 Marines, right? You can see on his pocket right there, it says USMC. That stands for Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. Um, and this is a great figure, right? So the detail is amazing. Take a look there at those boots. He's got the leggings, right? This is a World War II Marine, right? Excuse me. He's got this, uh, what is that? A, a, um, a hellish, a hellish visage. How's that? Because he is in hand to hand combat and he is getting ready to butt strike someone as we call it. And that's that figure. Okay. It's a beautiful figure and uh, typical of Marx, not one to glorify combat or war. This is a grisly figure in a way. Now what we have here is not the exact same figure. It looks a lot like him, right? It's the same pose, but it is a much softer sculpt. Take a look at the difference in the rifle and the bayonet. So they wouldn't be able to use the exact same sculpt, in my opinion, with this material, since it's not made of the soft plastic of the first figure we looked at. This is a hard plastic figure, like solid polystyrene. And let's take a look at the bottom. U.S. Marines, Lewis Marks, 1963, made in Hong Kong. Now, I don't know exactly how the distributing worked with these figures, but what I do know is figures like the one I'm holding in my hand are harder to come by and rarer than, more rare than the, than the other figures that we've been looking at, or the other figure that we just looked at. These painted examples are more difficult to find. So, let's set this guy down and let's do a comparison. close, right? Noticing he doesn't have the detailing on his pocket. The detailing on the boots is there, but it is not exact. You'll see that it's just not quite exactly the same. So because we know that the figure on the right came from 1958 originally, I think it's safe to say that the figure on the right and maybe even the mold were provided to the team in Hong Kong and they based the figure on the left on the figure on the right. I think that's a safe assumption. Now let's move on to these two figures. We have these German World War II figures. We do know the exact date and origin of each of these. First this figure on the left, we can look and we can see that it's Lewis Marx 1963. Made in the USA, this one. 
this figure. Lewis Marks, 1963, World War II German soldiers made in Hong Kong. Same year, and again, not the exact same figure. As a matter of fact, this figure is more dissimilar than the first two that we looked at, but I still believe that the figure on the right is based on the figure on the left. Major differences being how his head is turned and how his left arm, the motion or the, or the pose of his left arm. Also added was this, this large German mess kit, right? But I still believe, based on the, uh, the posing of their legs, based on the right arm and how he has the rifle shouldered, even though they're not exactly the same figure clearly, I still believe this figure came first and this figure was based on the figure that I hold in my hand right now. So this is these are these are just guesses. I do not know for sure. If you do know for sure and you'd like to talk about it, drop a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting looking at these figures. We didn't really take too, you know, as close of a look. This is a beautiful figure. Uh, these German soldiers were really well sculpted. As you can see, it's the expression on his face is fantastic. Look at the detail on the hand. You know, typical Marx action. But then when we look and see what the team in Hong Kong did, this is the best they could pull off, right? Uh, using a different medium, um, they weren't quite able to to uh, to pull off the high detail that the team was able to pull off uh, in the states. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later.